Welcome to Inside Sim Racing and our first look at MotoGP 2014 on the PlayStation 4. And this is actually, I'm pretty excited because this is the first, I just got the PlayStation 4 today. This is the first racing title that was worth buying. Actually, I think it's the only racing title on the PS4 right now. So really excited to try this out, needless to say. And I have to say, I'm hoping it works because I gave Jason the PC version and his is locked out for another 25 hours. Game releases on the 20th. Uh, right now where I'm filming, uh, the, the date I'm filming is the 18th, uh, at least here in the US. And I'm hoping it works. As if it doesn't, you're gonna see me be pretty upset here and I'll keep the, uh, the bad words to a minimum or beep them out, but, so, got two cameras running, this one and this one, and also doing some direct game capture, 1080p on the PlayStation 4, so, are you guys ready? Because I am, let's see. So this is gonna be an hour, I'm gonna do the first hour of gameplay, um, at least I'm hoping I'm going to, as you can see it's starting to boot up here. And uh, just going to go through exactly what I'm going to go through. I apologize if my, my writing is crappy. Oh, so far so good. So I apologize if my writing is crappy because, it, you know, anytime you're running a, a motorcycle game and you're used to running uh, racing titles, you know, it takes a little while to get used to. So could take me a little while to get used to it. But you're going to see right here, good, bad, or ugly. Oh, looks like I'm going. Press the up. Now, I'm new to this PS4 controller. It's got this little touchpad thingy here. Uh, I think that's a touchpad. Uh, but options, share, same uh, uh, joy pads. I guess you can call those are joysticks, D-pad, X square, triangle and circle button, and then you got the, the triggers here. So, and it's all lit up all fancy here. So anyway, let's see what we got here. Options. This is raw. I'm going, no editing here. You're gonna see what I see as I see it. Welcome. Before hitting the track, you'll need to create your personal profile. Okay. I think I'll just go by first player. I don't need to, uh, ah, what the heck. Ah, confirm and start. I don't know, maybe I needed to push options or something to get over to the to the name selection, but it wouldn't let me do that. Um, what do you guys think? Yes or no on the tutorial mode? Nah. This is definitely not my first go around with uh, MotoGP. How about if we start with an instant race? If that's at the top of the list. And see now I'm not sure how to change options here. No directions, by the way. This thing came with absolute oh, something happened. I guess I can shuffle. Assuming all the bikes and riders from the MotoGP uh, season, try to find a track that I'm semi familiar with. It's not letting me choose anything as far as pre race options go.
Uh, let's go to options over here first. Maybe that. All right, here's our controller, which that's going to be pretty self-explanatory. Video, audio, gamma correction. Pushing the options button again. IGP maybe. Rider customizations. Multimedia tutorial reset career credits. So So I'm going back to instant race here. I don't want to go, e well, I guess maybe I should start it easy so I don't look so bad. Still gonna, I w unfortunately, I think the first track was Circuit of the Americas. I should have just taken it because, ah, eh, what the heck, I'll go Indianapolis. Still trying to change the length, physics, and all that. I was pushing this little D-pad thing. It looks like something happened. Sorry if I look like a rookie here on uh, PS4. It's because I am. Definitely not able to go over to the options there. Share button's not going to do anything. Yeah, we don't want to share. All right, screw it. Let's just go start race. 15% race, easy, standard physics. So hopefully I can uh, adjust that somehow at some point. I tried everything, unless there's something missing on this controller. I think I should take off the little plastic things in the controller, not gonna need those. Okay, these look just like the ones pre-raced from MotoGP 13, to be honest. Hey, Milestone, you guys need to uh, do some HD intros. It doesn't look like it's 1080p to me. I guess that's a little nitpicky, but... Looks like the uh, well, maybe it's not the version of Indianapolis I'm used to based on this turn. Based on the turns here. Unless MotoGP ran backwards. I, oh, they, actually, I think they did. I'm comparing it to like the uh, Indianapolis GP course. Watch that for too long. So Milestone's first attempt at a next-gen console game. Only X or uh, PS4, not going to be on the Xbox One Hello, as far as I know. Hello, we're joining you live from the Indianapolis circuit. We're here at the Temple of American Motorsports, where the next race in the MotoGP World Championship is about to start. The skies over the track are clear, and the latest weather reports are telling us that temperatures will be as expected for this time of year. All right. Okay, it looks very similar to uh, previous title. So definitely haven't changed this UI in the garage. Boy, that uh, person up on the left, no offense, is a little scary looking. All right, let's go to the track. 
Zumitz is going to start me right in the race here. Showing me the grid. See what this thing's all about. Well, first off, graphically, this looks pretty bitchin'. Just gonna take it easy here, not gonna try to. Win on my first race. Whoa. I think I've rid driven this version of uh, oh, course cutting there. It slowed me down. I think I've driven this version of. Uh, Indy in iRacing. I didn't see which bike and rider I picked there. Oh, there's Nikki Hayden. So I think that's Nikki Hayden. the doctor oh and I go down for the first time whoa whoa wow see that man this bike you, you gotta even with the standard physics it's like a wheelie yeah what a three lap race here let's see if I can catch these guys You gotta be careful on the throttle on exit. This thing starts to step out. Probably better I got away from traffic so I can get the hang of it. Back into position here. Yeah, I gotta hand it to the gamepad drivers. You know, I see these guys, you know, at trade shows and stuff, and actually raced against some in Forza and. You know, it's amazing what these guys can do with a controller. Yeah, you know, I guess it's all muscle memory. The more you play it, the more you get used to it, but... Right, where am I? 18th, pick up positions, even after my wreck. Frame rates look great. Usually we go to the, the PC for the better the better graphical experience, but this looks pretty awesome.
Got to get used to the whole lean factor and getting it from one side to the other. first race there. I, I, I wish I could have adjusted the difficulty. It sure doesn't seem like I missed anything. I tried everything to get it the to... The podium finishers are making their way into Park Ferme now, but first, let's have a quick look at the final standings for the race. How to get up to seven? Let's watch a little replay action. Oh, replay already started playing there. Yeah, I did get up to seventh. I was Smith. Sorry, I'm not really familiar with MotoGP. I honestly haven't watched it. But, you know, unfortunately here in the States, they don't, they don't show us much of this kick-ass racing. Uh, actually, I just got Fox Sports Go. I was watching Le Mans this last weekend. I wonder if I can turn off music in the uh, options here. Let's just proceed. Uh, anyway, I got Fox Sports Go here in the States. I noticed that MotoGP is available now, so I think I'm going to... Try to start watching some MotoGP stuff. But yeah, it, it, we get shafted here in the States as far as quality racing goes. I mean, unless you're a NASCAR fan, which sometimes I am. Uh, I, I got to admit, I'm not a huge fan of NASCAR, you know, watching NASCAR racing. Now, if I got to sit in a NASCAR and do it myself, sure, I'd love it. But uh, all right, let's go to career here. See if I can adjust the options here. This looks HD. Man, these guys are all kids. Makes me feel old. Well, I am kind of old. Too old to do this, that's for sure. Honestly, I don't know if I'd have the cojones to do this, even if I was young enough. I, I was a rider for a while, had my own bike. Uh, so I know what it's like to ride, and I went to a track a few times, went to Willow Springs. You know, never truly rode on the limit. Never, never did any knee dragging. I got that close to dragging a knee, but man, it, to really push a bike, man, you need to, and even to push a car, but to push a bike, you have nothing to protect you. You go down and you're going down. Okay, they're gonna show, oh, there's the doctor. I know him. I recognize Nicky Hayden if they show him. Marquez. I guess I'll see his name in the background if I... I think Marquez is one of the fast guys. Uh, maybe I just wasn't paying attention. Maybe they did show... Uh, Nicky Hayden. So I think that's the MotoGP rider. I know it was Brother Race, too. Welcome to your MotoGP 14 career. For your debut in the World Championship, you will participate in two races as a wild card. Getting good positions will allow you to increase your fan base and attract better offers for the next season. This is the office in your motorhome. From here, you can manage your activities as a rider. Use your computer to check your earnings and follow contract negotiations. The calendar will keep track of your commitments and you can kick back, relax, and watch the television between races. In your bedroom, you'll find your paperwork and a closet where you can customize your racing gear. Remember to check it throughout the game as new helmets become available periodically. Cool. Touch screen. 
I was trying to touch the little D-pad thing here. That didn't do me any good. All right, let me see if I can adjust the options here. Multimedia, bedroom. Maybe it'll happen pre-race. Ah, there's where I can adjust my name. Let's just enter my name here. Oh, no, we don't want first Darren. That's backspace. I'll fast forward this so you guys don't have to watch the whole thing. All right, go back here. Let's see if, they, if I can put my age. Oh, oh, I can't even put my age. I just turned 46. Oh, I'm gonna put 45. Yes, I'm that old. Not that I don't look any younger. Got to make myself an American. See if I can use number 11. No, 11's my number. See if I can use one of my daughter's playing numbers. No, I think I'm just going to go with 91. I saw that. All right, riding style. Balance elbows to the ground, shoulders out, body out. Old school. Let's go old school. Since I'm an old school guy. All right, so I got that changed. Let's see if I can change any of my gear here. Yeah, yeah, I can change my helmet. Uh, level four, I can change to that one. Go with that one. Now you can change your boots. I think my boots kind of match my helmet. Gloves. I have to change into some gloves that are similar. Nickname. Yeah, I'll just be call, I'll call myself player. Nickname style, okay. So that's all set. Let's go back into the office. So it looks like I can just look at team stuff. Team and email info and info to start. Virginio. So it looks like I only have. All right, let's go to start race, see what we got here. There we go, race options now. Yeah. Well, it's up at 25%. Let's go to full weekend. AI. Let's go to hard. Bike damage, heavy, definitely. Tire wear on, mechanical problems, AI and player. Penalty timer, activate or deactivate the penalty timer. Oh, okay, so it says if you don't activate this, your option, or activate this option, your times will not be entered in the online leaderboards. Disciplinary flags, yes. All right. Now we're talking. Okay, now what about physics? There we go. Uh, hold on. Now I don't want auto brakes. I don't want steering help. Tuck in will leave automatic. Ideal trajectory. Yeah, let's leave on uh, only corners. No rewinds. Traction control. These guys have traction control? I wonder if they do. I think they do. Yeah, I'm going to turn that off. Let's just go for it. See what this is all about. 
I'm so yeah, this is Moto 3, so shouldn't be as difficult, I would think. I'm in the Czech Republic, Brno. The doctor, Valentino Rossi. See, I do know a little bit about MotoGP. It was nicknamed. Yeah, I don't think they've changed these from MotoGP 13. I'd have to go back and double check, but it's the same music, I know that. But you guys check out these. I think they're cool intros. Gives you a feel for the country that they're racing at. It'd be nice if they switch the music up between each country. This seems a little more HD than the last one. Czech republic -y. Kind of dig this too. This is cool how it shows you the track, shows you passing zones, and it's been a while since I've run Burno. 14 turns, right corners eight, left corners six, Circuit length, 5.403 miles. Is that, or meters? 5,000, yeah, it's gotta be meters. Unless that was five, this isn't a five mile track. That'd be crazy. Overtaking hot spots. I built. I believe they have like line built up or rubber built up. I mean, I, I, as far as I remember, they did in MotoGP 13. I should have been boning up on this. Been so busy though with E3 last week and all sorts of other goodies. By the way, I'm in the Omi Go Go chair that we reviewed a long time ago. So it's kind of racy. You got a racing seat here. Now let's just get past this. 3.357 miles, 5,403 5, meters. Longest straight is uh, 0.395 miles, constructed in 1987. It's cool, you can kind of- Hello everyone, oh. this is Gavin Emmett. We're here in Brno in the Czech Republic for the start of the 11th weekend of the season. We're in the rain. Great, now you guys are gonna really see me fumbling. When you're in the pit, the time monitor on your right displays your position during the sessions. The chief engineer will help you with everything related to the bike setup and repairs. When you're ready to hit the track, just put on your helmet. There's my teammate, looks like. Session information. So I'm assuming engineer, we can make adjustments to the bike. That's cool. Oh, so you can work on it directly here. Let's check out what you can adjust. So yeah, sliders, you can do lots of different adjustments. Earning some trophies. Change the gearing. Oh, each gear plus the final ratio, cool. Brakes, disc one, disc two, this looks familiar. That, that sounds like, I, re, that, I recall that from, uh, got the wet tires on. I better turn my phone off here, I'm just in case someone calls me. I don't want it disrupting my gameplay here. All right, so let's just ride it as is. Go out on track. So it looks like we got, oh, proceed. It looks like we got a tire monitor. I honestly like riding the Moto, the Moto 3 bikes to start.
really helps you get used to the tracks and plus man those as you saw in my first race those uh moto gp did i say moto 3 or moto gp this is moto 3 those moto gp bikes freaking step out man they're beasts those things have over 200 horsepower It seems like I got quite a bit of grip for wet weather here. I hope the Moto 3 doesn't put you guys to sleep. That's me leaning up, by the way. Views here. Oh, I figure out how to change views. Let's look back. Let's look to the side. Ah, push the D-pad. This thing sounds like a moped. I gotta say, as much as I'd love to ride from the, the cockpit, it is for me it's just easier to ride on this uh, play with the gamepad. It's easier for me to ride or drive from this this setup. Actually, let me look at options. Um, where's my control options? I was hoping I could... Uh, I wonder what's, what's my rear brake. Okay, so that's upshift and downshift. So I'm just, gas is on the right, brake is on the left. I just don't know what's front brake and what's rear brake here. Yeah, these wet weather tires are really good or Grip doesn't change much from dry to wet. And again, this is just a Moto 3 bike. I like the trigger of the PS4, it's got some nice progression on it. I've said this every time we review a, a motorcycle racing. Sim, and I'd say this is definitely more on the sim side. Uh, there's really, I mean, sure, you got level ups and stuff between races. Wide open there, nothing. No, I turned traction control off too, so this, either this thing is so underpowered that it doesn't step out, which honestly doesn't make sense to me in the rain. I think any bike can step out in the rain. Uh, Anyway, I've said this every time we've reviewed a, a motorcycle title. Man, I would love to have some kind of motorcycle controller to do this. There was a guy that was developing one, but he had all sorts of personal issues that he was going through. He never actually, I know a few people got to take advantage of it and try it, but I never did. Uh, but I sure would have loved to have had a kind of controller to run this with. 
Well, I, don't, I think so. I don't bore the heck out of you guys. I'm just going to go straight to race. Actually, I'm already ninth out of 21st. Yeah, you guys don't need to sit through my practice session. It looks like easy enough track, and I got that line on in the corners, so that should help me enough. Oh, I didn't want to go back to the main screen. That's okay, because now I can see the controller. So we got front, oh, front brake and reverse is the L2. Oh, and you can increase traction control while you're driving. Change it, camera angles, the touch. Oh, rear brake is the X. I thought I was pushing that. What else I could set up as the? I think I'm gonna set up the R1 button as the rear brake. Yeah, then I can go like this if I need to. All right, let's give that a try. Didn't want to leave my career, but that's cool. Real Events 2013, what's this? Hold In on. In Real Events, you can relive the most thrilling moments of the 2013 MotoGP World Championship season. Let's try it. It's not letting me change any of the other the other options. I can change the AI, but it won't let me change tire wear, technical problems. Uh, probably because so I get to run as Rossi here, Valentino Rossi. So this is a uh, looks like something that took place in the in last year's season. And I get to kind of recreate it. See, so yeah, I'll just bounce around a little bit. You saw a little bit of the career, so you started in the Moto 3. That probably would have been kind of boring for you guys to sit through, even though I'm going to do it. There's the doctor. Hey, look at those guys sliding into the corner. That is so awesome. So as Ross, you have to come back to at least third place after having numerous lost places. Cross the finish line at least in third. Cross the finish line in better than Dovios, Dovicioso. Yeah. And I need to take some international name lessons. I got control now. I ain't gonna do it that way. Might as well restart. Quick restart. Yeah, this thing's a beast. Now that I've got the, you know, I'm running in pro mode. No trash juice. No, no playing around here. Damn, this is not easy.
Probably doesn't help that I don't know the track all that well. waiting to see the black stripe from rubber. Some good rumble effects. I'm feeling them as I'm going in too, so when the bike starts to break loose. I think I noticed when I started this, my rear tire was on the yellow a little bit, so, whoa. Oh, oh. <laughs> whoops. All right, guys, don't beat me up too bad. I, this is not easy. And it's definitely going to take some getting used to. This is why I was saying it's probably better to try in Moto 3 first. Whoa! You'll get the hang of it. I tried to run that guy over. That didn't happen. You'll work your way up to... Moto 2, Moto GP 2, and then. Gotta lay into the throttle a little bit, not lay into it, but just roll onto the throttle. You definitely can't just go balls to the wall. I was supposed to finish in the top three. I'm going to be lucky if I finish out of the bottom three here. That is a lot tighter quarter than it looks like coming in. Looks like if you work on throttle control, hit your apexes. Helmet cam. Well, that's not helping me much. <sighs> Pushing a little too hard there.
Man, you gotta really take it easy. Yeah, I'm turning that traction control up. And that traction control brings up the front wheel easier, it looks like. I think I'm pushing the rear brake. I think you guys have seen me wreck enough on this. I don't need to finish it and show you what it's like to finish dead last here. Let's go back to the main menu. So I'm almost done an hour here, so I'm gonna kind of wrap things up. I'm gonna do a full review on this. Jason's working on the PC version. Need to say I'm on the PS4. I apologize for my crap driving. You guys don't beat me up too bad in the comments. I'm Ooh, challenge the champions. What's that? I uh... challenge the champions allows you to revisit the challenges that made motorcycle racing history and experience them for yourself. Cool. Ah, you gotta you gotta complete successfully complete six events to get to the next one. So let's uh, let's turn these guys down to easy. Let's see if I even have a prayer. Check out my serious face. That's how I get when I'm racing. Get all serious. Victory conditions. I got to win the race. Cross the finish line in worse than first place. Milestone, you guys need some help on translation. I, I Maybe I can't say some of these guys' names right. Oh, no, 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 no. I wasn't paying attention. I might not be able to say some of these guys' names right, but I can at least write proper English. So if you guys need help in the future getting some of these uh, written correctly, I'd be happy to help you out. Oh man, I what am I doing? Oh, there's another back, there's another, there's two different views. I think I'll go from a little back. All right, let's try one more time and then I'm gonna wrap it up. This is gonna be my final. Again, Jason and I are gonna do a full review, him checking out the PC, me checking out PS4. Well, I think I need to, do one more, one more. I think I need to turn up trash control a little bit. Where it says position two. Man, I don't know if it's this bike or what. <laughs> All right, let me try one more time. One more time, and then I'm gonna wrap it up. Take it easy, Darren. Take it easy. Why are there so many bikes in front of me if I'm? It's showing me in second. No, I don't want that view. Same track I think I just ran. Oh, whoa, whoa, no. Really? I guess it was just Rossi. Those guys must have just been lappers. That's one thing when you're when you're riding these bike racing games. Not only got to work on turning, but you got to 
it's different setting up for a lot different setting up for an apex because you want to get to full lean at the middle of the apex. Oh no, no. You know, it's not easy just to alter your trajectory or your line mid corner. See, like that. Wah! And then when you got all that power trying to keep put the power down and get out of the corners. Ah. Man, I stayed in second though that whole time. All right, well, you know what? I need some work here. I I'm embarrassing myself. Let's go back to the main menu, see if there's anything else I missed here. Uh, I'm gonna put out, a, actually I'm gonna get the hang of it and try to run a race and make, not make myself look so bad. Gonna get this video out. Jason's gonna do some stuff on the PC. He's got about 23 hours to wait though now. Oh, time attack, safety car mode, what is that? I can drive the safety car? Oh, we gotta do this really quick. Uh, let's go to... Let's go to uh, Circuit of the Americas. Physics safety car. These guys haven't done a car game in a long time. I mean, besides WRC. Uh, what was their, what was the name of their title? Superstars, was it Superstars V8? It's been so long, I can't remember. It, it was, no offense, Milestone, but, and I stated it here on the show. That, that, that title was lacking it to, quite a bit. Well, or 50 minutes of capture for you guys. I recognize that. I know there was kayaking in the last one. I remember that. I have my own kayak. I remember seeing that. So they recycled. The Shame on you, Milestone. You recycled that video. I know the layout here. And I'm driving a car now with a gamepad, unfortunately. Let's check it out, though, see what this is all about. Get to drive the safety car. Oh, I'm not driving yet. Here we go. Now I am. Uh, no cockpit. Gotta say, graphics are pretty Pretty amazing. I also gotta say, I hate driving with a gamepad. I truly do. No offense to you gamepad drivers out there, none at all. And I, I applaud you for being able to do it because, man, it really takes some time for me to get used to driving with a gamepad. Oh, we gotta turn traction control off here. There we go. D-pad up and down turns traction control off and on. Not sure why they would add this. I guess it's just a little extra bonus for you guys, for us to mess around with. Kind of hard to tell what the physics are like without a wheel. Oh, they gave me a penalty. Seven tenths of a second. I must have done something to break the rules. Breaking the law, breaking the law. I'm going to push it there, see how much the... It's like a pretty accurate version of Circuit of the Americas. Comparing it to Thai Racing's, obviously. Oh, this seems a little off. Overall, it seems pretty good. I'm sure this isn't laser scanned.
Seems pretty close, though. All right. So there's a lap around Circuit of the Americas in the safety car. BMW safety car. We'll do a couple donuts here to finish things off. Safety car mode, huh, Milestone? Interesting. What's free camera? So I guess if I wanted to look around. Pretty cool model on the car, I have to say. Yeah, those rims look a little cheese. But the body looks pretty neat. All right, so there we have it. First hour of just getting the feel for, uh, that was an M4 coupe. Getting the feel for uh, MotoGP 14. And this is obviously region free because I'm in the States here. And I actually, I heard this is coming out in the States, which is, you know, a lot of times Milestone doesn't come out with titles in the States. So it's cool to see that this is going to make it here to the States. Uh, I have a link where you can buy a copy of this through P-Cube. I'd like to thank the folks at P-Cube for hooking me up with a copy of this. Uh, got it a couple days in advance. Sorry, Jason, didn't get to try it. PC, Milestone, you put some lockout timer on it. Shame on you guys. I don't know why you would do that anyway since you're not releasing it until a certain day. Unless people could buy it and then they could have it waiting until that minute it becomes available. So what else was there? Time Attack... So it looks like I pretty much touched on everything. Championship, I'm assuming you just run through a championship and then a Grand Prix you pick. Let me go back to instant race and see if I can... Yeah, you can't adjust the difficulty. I'm assuming you can in Grand Prix. Just going to double check it here for you guys. Official riders. Oh, MotoGP champions. Ooh, look at this. Go old school, Eddie Lawson. 1992. I, that's cool. I guess you could ride some of the old bikes, too. Ah, here's the options. Cool. Let's just start this up real quick before I go. So, uh, yeah, this is available for the PS4, PC. I think they're going old gen too. I'm not positive, but I think it's I think it's going to be available on the Xbox 360. Actually, while that's running, nah, I don't. Well, I'll tell you in the next video I do. I'm gonna bypass that and just get into the old school bike here. I wonder if I'm racing against all old school bikes or just. I'm I can't be on an old school bike and him on a new school. Or, I mean, the rest of the field on new school. Welcome to Le Mans, the race we're broadcasting today features some of the most incredible bikes that have ever... Le Mans. Yeah, it looks like an old... I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. Kagiva? Tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me how to pronounce that. Kagiva. Kajiva? Kagiva? Sajiva? How do you pronounce that, guys? Butcher it, or beat me up on it. Tell me how to pronounce it. Ooh, those look like old school bikes. But I still got, or maybe you just got a, a bunch of champions, it looks like, maybe. Awesome. Somebody was just standing still on the start. Haga, Cheka.
there. I, I was gonna, I was saying to myself, as soon as I wreck, I'm done. All right, that's going to wrap it up. Oh, I like that old school stuff, man. That is cool. Definitely going to have to check more of that out. So that's going to wrap it up uh, for Inside Sim Racing here. I'm Darren Ganji. Come to our website, isrtv.com. Got lots of MotoGP 14 coverage, uh, as well as everything else in the sim racing world. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. As a matter of fact, I don't know if it's on this side or this side. There's always a little watermark. If you click on that watermark, it allows you to subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. So more M MotoGP coverage to come from Milestone. Again, I'd like to thank the guys at PQ for hooking me up with this. And we'll see you guys next time.